Hello, Namaste, how are you all today? Okay, this video demonstrates how I load my brush while painting one stroke. It's challenging for beginner. Yes, I have wasted too much paint while learning how to load brush. It's painfully frustrating and uh, test your patience because one, we don't get nice finished strokes like um, other artists we watch on YouTube. Second, our paint get mixed up or muddy when we try to load brush. And third, it seems like our brush is not smoothly sliding on surface. And last, everything we do seems like we are doing wrong. Wait, it happens to all. So don't give up. Hang on. Hang on there. If your brush is not loaded properly, then focus on movements. So actually you are killing two birds at one stone. It will come with practice and applying little tricks that we learn during all the practice. So here I am not saying the technique I am sharing is right or perfect, but I have achieved learning from my mistakes. Here I am using paints from three brands, white and orange from Omni, pearl and cardboard uh, black from Martha Stewart and yellow and green from Fork Art. They are multi-surface paints and details I will post in description box. I am using sets of color from three brands. So same time we can compare them. This yellow plastic folder I bought because I want to use it as a loading area. It's very easy and convenient and the surface is quite smooth. As usual, before starting my painting, I soak my brush in water and wipe them off. So when I start, they are little damp. Be careful. Here brush should not be very wet, otherwise you end up having muddy paints and all paints mix up in each other. To load the brush, dip it in paint vertically. So it will cover one side of end of brush in triangular shape. Then press it hard on loading area. So it opens up all the bristles and paint can penetrate into all bristles properly. When you, um, when you first load brush, you have to take paints multiple times till you feel it's loaded properly. Check it. To practice my stroke, I am using Diller Rowney acrylic paper. Sometimes when you check your brush, you will realize it's not loaded properly from, uh, it's not uh, loaded properly from middle. Then take paint the way it covers middle part of the brush. Sometimes you notice that heavy pigmented color or a dark color get overpower on light a pigmented color or a light shades of color. In that case, don't load brush with half of paint. What I do in that case, I load two third of brush with light color and one third of brush with dark color. If you feel that even after perfectly loading brush, it's not giving you nice and sharp edge, then dip the outside edge. What I mean here by uh, outside edge is, it means the edge that gives you outside of the stroke. Okay, so dip the outside edge with color and stroke immediately without working in loading area. As you can see here, my brush is not loaded uh, properly from middle part. So the way I will uh, take paint on brush that cover the middle part of the brush. So now you can see my brush is properly loaded. So you can fix this problem with this little technique.
you can see here my orange and green color keep mixing with each other because my brush uh, my brush was little wet and a green pigment was a uh, strong compared to orange pigment so mix and match the colors and if you are not comfortable keep loading brush after each stroke so you have perfect strokes each time you can use a uh, floating mediums also so that will also uh, increase your stroke time but one thing keep it up don't give up as nothing is impossible but same times but same times nothing is easy to only practice makes it perfect so what are you waiting for start practicing but before that don't forget to let me know how do you find this video so bye see you till next time um, something like this smooth end of stroke is very important but sometimes due to paint or of the because of the surface surface it becomes difficult to get that so how i fix